Powerful form factor PCs have been gaming popularity for some time now. They offer a full power gaming experience in a much smaller size that's easy to transport or just takes up less space. And with working from home becoming much more common, we can see there only being even more demand for a small PC that you can work on and then something that you can also game or create on later. Naturally though, there is a reason why these haven't just taken over though. The smaller you go, the harder it is to fit everything in there and the harder it is to upgrade later with more limited options. Cooling can also be a problem if it isn't well optimised. And that's where Intel's Extreme Nook comes in, also referred to as Dragon Canyon. It's a super small form factor given its performance potential, even smaller than many of the best mini ITX cases. And Intel have put all their vast knowledge into action to make it both powerful and easy to work with. Basically, if you want a super small form factor PC without having to build the whole thing yourself, this is a really great option. And like all other Nook models, the Xtreme comes as what's called a bare bones system. It houses the motherboard, CPU, memory and connectivity. And you simply add in your RAM and storage plus a GPU should you need one. Then you'll also need to install your operating system. The biggest advantage when it comes to size and packaging is the Intel compute unit. This is so much smaller than the traditional mini ITX form factor, allowing for a more compact build. Yes, the Nook is, I suppose, less upgradable than the Mini ITX, so you can't just swap out the CPU or the motherboard, for example, but you can upgrade the whole compute unit. And to be fair, it's likely that when you do come to upgrade, you'd be buying into a whole new platform anyway, and this is still way more upgradable than a laptop. So the latest Extreme Nook is, of course, the 12th gen, which we've got here, the Dragon Canyon. We're going to run through the specs for you and show you how easy it is to add in your components. Our model that we've got here is a top of the range i9 model sporting a desktop class Intel Core i9 12900 CPU with 16 cores and 24 threads and a 5.1 gigahertz boost clock. So you absolutely are not short on performance here. And if you didn't need a dedicated GPU for gaming, then this CPU has Intel's UHD 770 graphics card built in, which is more than enough for day-to-day -day use and some light gaming in popular esports titles, maybe even a few AAAs. But to be honest, you are unlikely to be looking at an Extreme Series NUC for that purpose, and you'll want to be adding a full-size, full-power GPU to get the most performance possible. Here, this NIC also doesn't disappoint. There's a modular SFX power supply with a 650 watt 80 plus gold rating, so enough to power up a GeForce RTX 3070 Ti, or maybe an RTX 3080, depending on what you're playing, or if you don't mind playing with a little bit of undervolting. As the PSU is an SFX model, you could even upgrade it to something more powerful as well, should you wish to. And then for the GPU itself, you can have any model that's of a two slot design and up to 30 centimeters long. So again, that should be enough for all but the most extreme graphics cards on the market. Also in this nook, you actually have space up to 64 gigabytes of Sodium DDR4 memory and three NVMe Gen 4 SSD slots. Connectivity wise, the extreme nook is also pretty impressive. It's got two ethernet ports, one 10 gigabit and another 2.5 gigabit as well as the latest Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. Then there's two Thunderbolt 4 ports and six USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports. Lastly, there's a card reader and a 3.5mm headphone jack. It's a serious amount considering the compact size. And you also get interchangeable faceplates with either a plain or a school design. We're going for the school design today as this is for gaming. To keep everything cool, Intel has been pretty smart with the cooling with a mesh side panel feeding cool air to the GPU and then exhausting out of the top via a triple fan setup. Then the CPU is cooled with its own dedicated centrifugal fan which takes its air supply from the rear of the case. And lastly, the PSU also has its intake on the right side. This does mean that you do need to think about placement though so that you aren't blocking any airflow. Basically, just make sure there's a bit of space all around it. So let's open it up and I'll show you just how easy it is to install everything. So first up, I'll install the RAM and I've gone for 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance, 3200 megahertz. And this goes in the compute unit. It's really easy to do, I'll show you now. Next 
Next up, I'm gonna pop in this two terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD that I've chosen. There are actually three NVMe SSD slots in here. We've got two nets of CPU, one that I used, one next to it, and the third's actually been moved to the back in the latest generation. Look, they all run at gem full speed, so plenty of super fast storage options there. So with those two installed, I could technically call that complete and just use the inbuilt Intel UHD graphics and the HDMI slot on the back here, and I'd have a pretty capable PC for everything but top-end gaming. But of course, I'm not going to do that. I have got this to install as well. It's an EVGA NVIDIA RTX 3070 graphics card. And as you'll see, it's not exactly a small GPU, but the Extreme Nut can actually take a card up to 30 centimeters long. So this is going to fit in no problems. So let's get it installed. First of all, I have to put this back on. So there you go, it really shows how easy Intel have managed to make building your own super small form factor PC, if a tiny little bit fiddly at times. If this was a traditional mini ITX build, I would have been here for hours trying to figure out how to get it all to fit in and how to get the best cooling. And this would have been a much longer and more stressful video. Now we did pre-install Windows already to save some time on this one. If you do buy one of these though, don't forget you will need a Windows license, so don't cheap out. Be sure to buy a genuine copy from Scan to make sure that you get all the proper support. So that is the Intel Extreme NUC 12 with i9. I'm pretty impressed with it, hopefully you are too. It was a doddle to install the components really and it's got loads of power in a tiny chassis. It's upgradable, it stays pretty cool and it really looks awesome. If you're thinking of going down the small form factor route then it should definitely be something you should take a serious look at. And check out the full Intel NUC range on our website including some nice offers on the 11th gen model Extreme Nook. Could be a great option while stocks last. <laughs>